Okay, wideband lambda sensors. This is an Inovix uh, LC1, um, but they all run on the same sort of theory. Um, they've got two grounds, um, one for the heater and one for the signal. It's important to take them back individually, exactly the same as the ECU wiring. Take them back individually, uh, so we've got a signal ground and, a, and the heater ground, take them both back to the same point on the engine block. Um, and uh, you'll see in there, on the um, Innovitz LC1 I've got blue wire, looks like it's the um, main uh, ground, which would be the heat ground, so that's the blue wire into there, and uh, I've got a green and a white as well. Some of the Innovitz only have a white, I don't think, so. I think some of them don't have a green wire, um, they only have a white and a blue or they have a blue and a green, I can't remember now, but there's two wires in mine, some only have one signal wire, but I've got two. I think on the, I've got one on the other side and that's only got one. And then the output is on the yellow wire of the Innovitz. Uh, output one is on the yellow wire and um, that goes to the pink, per I don't know what colour you want to call it, pink, we'll call it back to the, on my wiring loom for the mega squirt. That's the signal back to the mega squirt to tell it. Uh, what the voltage output is off the uh, wideband lambda sensor. And um, I've also used the brown output which is bank 2 and that goes off to an, um, an AFR gauge I've got on my dashboard. And then the red wire on the um, end of its lambda is the power. I think it's red. Difficult to see in this light. Yes, red. Um, I've just got 12 volt feed. And what I've do, well, how I do that is um, I like to switch a clean feed through an, a relay. So the 12 volt feed from this will come from the battery via a relay. So the relay is switched on when the ignition switch is on, and um, this feed goes through that relay straight off the battery into the um, in the end of it to keep it nice and clean via a fuse. Of course. Okay, we've uh, just got the LM, the LC ones connected, powered on, and um, I've just run LM programmer. Okay, now what I like to do is, um, it's up to you which output you use. On the uh, LC one, the yellow one is output one, and brown is output two. I like to use output one, and um, just keep it all nice and standard. And uh, I select if you select air fuel ratio. And uh, volts, I always go 0 to 5 volts is 10 to 20 AFR. So if we go 0 volts and 5 volts, and um, set here 10 and 20 AFR program, hopefully that's done. So anyhow, that's uh, the LC1 programmed for a 0 to 5 volt output, um, 10 to 20 AFR. I believe that gives, you're going to tune on a gas, uh, if on a petrol engine, you're going to tune between 10 and 20 AFR anyhow. You've got 0 to 5 volt range input, so you might as well spread it across the whole range. 0 to 5 volt, 10 to 20 AFR gives you your best uh, resolution in my opinion. So. Um, so that's where I'd leave it to. And we'll now go and set up the uh, mega squirt so that reads that value in and knows what. Okay, we've, so we've programmed the LC of the LC1, the Innovitz or your wideband lambda sensor. We now need to tell the mega squirt um, what we're going to be, what everything's set to. So let's take for, for starters uh, Megatune and um, MS1. This is a little bit different uh, in that you have to go to the configurator up the top here and um, select your project which you'll probably only have car one. I mean I've got several here. Go into settings, settings, lambda sensor and from this drop down box here up the top here you can select which one it is. Now we've just set that for 0 to 5 volts, 10 to tw uh, 20 AFR, so it's that one there, okay, which um, hopefully you can clearly see. Um, so you just select that and then select 
save up the top here and um, that then knows the tuning software then knows uh, what the AFR is so when you run Megatune next um, the air fuel ratio gauge here will show the true air, air to fuel ratio um, reading so the 0 to 5 volt output that's from the LC1 going into Mega Squirt uh, and the Megatune software will read that correctly. In Canon Mega Squirt 2 you need to power the Mega Squirt up and you go into um, Tools, uh, Calibrate AFR Table and in here you select uh, which wideband it is. So in of it's 0 to 5 volt, 10 to 20 air fuel ratio, select that. Then you select right to controller and as you can see little bar runs along the bottom inside the box in here and that's right into the right into the mega squirt to tell it what the uh, input is from the wideband lambda sensor so now when it comes back online close that this air fuel ratio meter here now gives exactly what the uh, wideband lambda sensor should be yeah, that will tell you what the wideband lambda sensor is giving it